the main purpose actually is to uh, reach the realization of the steganography. It's one of the uh, uh, techniques. It's a technology we are going to adopt for the purpose of hiding resources inside of each, uh, um, each other. Uh, actually, we know that uh, storage devices, they are used to store data. We can store word files, we can store images, we can store uh, audio and video and what uh, different kinds of media. Yet, when I tell you, for example, the following phrase, we are going to store a word file inside a word file. Or we are going to, for example, another example, we are going to store a word file inside an image. This is a strange, uh, actually, uh, preview for a first time, actually, explanation. The steganography is the scenario of hiding data inside the data. We are saying data inside data. We are not saying data inside storage media. No. Data inside data. Steganography. Uh, we are going to refer to the injection. Uh, and later on, we are going to uh, adopt what we are going to inject, which is the steganography scenario, to... to do an XSS attack or something like that. XSS cross-site scripting, cross-site scripting, XSS attack, something like that later on, to use our our injected or infected uh, resource at the end. Steganography will, regener will generate actually uh, an infected file at the end. We saw that at the first class in theory, first week, first class. We are going to apply it today. Good. Uh, the first practice actually is asking us to refer to the URL we are going to share today to download a background image. We are going to use the inspector. We are going to use the inspector uh, in order to download what we are uh, required to do after the inspector. Here we are going to use the inspector to download the background. We are going to learn how to hack uh, some security levels on the web in order to um, reach what we want. In our example, we are willing to have the background image. Okay, the URL uh, we are required to visit for the first ta task is the bing.com. Bing.com is the public search engine from Microsoft. Is the bing.com. This, this, uh, this is the platform. If you'd like to download this image here, we may refer to the images from, from I don't know, from where he actually they are giving us the chance to download. Here, from here we can download it. See, uh, the point. I downloaded this image, this image here, uh, yellow flowers with this bird. I'm going to see how it looks like. I'm going to open it. I'm going to photo view. Okay, that's okay here. Wait for it. It will be opening, yes, but, but with the Microsoft thumbnail. There is a badge, there is a stamp proving that this is a Microsoft product. I don't want this one. No thumbnails are required here. We need to hack and get the image, the original one, without the stamp. You see this stamp here? Actually, we are going to download the image without the stamp. Let's do that. Let's hack. The first hack practice. Let's do that. So, we are not going to download it from the normal link they are giving us, we are going to use our inspector. So, in any empty space, but I'll start from the left side, since it's in English, I'm going to start from the left side, top top, top corner. And here, in an empty space, right click, inspect. I'm not going to view it in mobile, I'm going to leave it like that. So, inspect. It bought me this one. Again, I'm going to go a little bit See, when I pass the mouse over, it highlights something. Whenever I pass the, the, mouse, the mouse on some script, there are colors, there are highlights that appear. What I'm passing, it gets highlighted. What I'm passing the, the mouse on, it gets highlighted. See, I need the full image, so uh, the full body. So this is the body. Here it is, the body. I click it. Then I'm going to search if I find a background image. If I found, if I can get a background image. Is there any background? No, there is no script here saying a uh, background image. There is a background color, but image is not there. It's not mentioned in any background image, so it's not here. I go a little bit down, 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 until I find something. Here is, here is a background image. It's clearly written. It's a clearly written background image. URL, and this is what I want. 
double click it i'm going to take the url only see from where i'm going to highlight until the image extension until the image extension only i'm going to copy no not this one i need only the url only the url i'm going to copy it i'm going to copy it from the keyboard i'm going to copy it using the keyboard control c control c then here in the url at the end at the end of this com paste it enter close this thing here and this is our image and this is our image i'm gonna right click now save images if i find save save image as here it is save image as click it i'm gonna save it uh, let's say uh, hacked bg hacked background where uh, in my let's say downloads okay leave it there hacked bg i'm gonna get, put it in uh, documents documents i'm gonna say images let, let it be here in images or oh, no documents documents i'm gonna create a folder to separate our work i'm gonna say stega monography open it and save the uh, background image here okay save great let's uh, let's see it show and follow double click it in photo okay okay there is no Microsoft there is no Microsoft there is no Microsoft stamp I succeeded in hacking this background they are securing it against being hacked but I succeeded in doing that so I'm successful in doing that so uh, the first step has been succeeded so we are able to hack and get this image without the consent without the permission of the owner which is the microsoft itself so we reached to do that uh, fully we got the image fully we did not take a part of the image it's the full image great part two let's come back and continue our practice part two is to generate a php file a simple php file to generate a simple php file that actually probes he's uh, clearly saying probes the trace to fovabay.com to probe the, the trace actually to, sorry to yes to probe the trace to the fovabay.com we have to use the command prompt the cmd and to launch the exec, the uh, the uh, the, uh, the command tra trace srt fovabay.com okay uh, what did i say trace i said type of trace t r a Okay, enter. And they wait for no. Still, I made an error. It's dot uh, com. Dot com. Yes. Enter. Let him walk now. Okay. The command is trace rt space from bay dot com and let him walk. He will give me the gateways that separates my location my location to this to, to this fovabay.com from my location until the fovabay.com what are the gateways and how much time he's taken to reach there i can give him a little bit of time otherwise i'm going to stop because i do not need to have the full path at least now i know how to trace to probe the trace to the fovabay.com to probe the trace to the fovabay.com to probe the trace to the fovabay.com so i did that this is how but the question said the question said to create a php file file actually it's a malware because we do not have to do it in php but we're going to do it it's a very simple it's a very simple process to, to inject it later on to a server or something like that I'm going to stop control C here. It's enough for this uh, request here. I'm not going to do any, everything. This is, it. this is the command we need. And let's generate a PHP file that does this task, the trace rt fevobay.com. OK. I'm going to open a new notepad. Notepad. This notepad, I'm going to save it. I'm going to actually. Um, immediately later on i'll save it as php but for now i'm gonna uh, put my 
SRT Fava Bay.com. Yeah. Fava Bay.com. SRT. Yes, good. This is my goal. My comment. I may I, I may add the www environment. Team. Both of them they are valid. Great. This is the command to probe. But to put it inside the PHP, we have to indicate that this is a PHP script. This is a PHP solution. It's not any uh, any command. So we are passing it to the PHP. We have to start using this uh, symbol, and we have to close using this symbol. Less than question mark PHP to start the PHP, and question mark greater than to close the PHP. But the command, we are not going to write it like it is. So it has to be communicated with the system. There is a, there is a PHP command called system. So, well, we pass in between here as a parameter, in between double quotations, all the commands we want to pass to the system. We need to pass this one because this is a system. This is a system. So we are going to pass this trace RT. I'm going to cut, cut and paste it here, paste. Now we are passing the command to the system. Now the command is passing to the system, it's not, but using using what? Using the PHP. So using the PHP, we well, we'll passing to the system, this trace RT for the bay.com. Great, great, now we did that. I'm gonna save the file now, the full file as PHP. File, save as, I'm gonna save it in the same location where the image is, so inside the documents, I believe, steganography, and in here, I'm going to change to all files. This one, let it be UTF-8, UTF-8, and I'm going to give the name, malware.php, save. Here is the name, malware.php. I'm going to close now, I finished. I'm going to close. Okay, this one, I do not need it for now, minimize it. I go back to my folder where the image is. Here is my malware. It has been appeared. Right click, properties. This is what, this is a PHP file. This is a PHP file. We saved it clearly. So we did the thing correct. Perfect. Very, very, very good. Very good. Great. Let me come back to the question to know what is the next step. Yeah, great. So, <clears throat> we hack the image, the background. We created our malware, well, our PHP malware that probes the fiverrbay.com. PHP, we did that. Now we are going to hide something inside of something. What to hide? We have to hide the malware, no? The malware have to be hidden in order to be to send it. Can I send you a virus and tell you that this is a virus, please accept it? No, it has to be hidden. So we are going to hide the PHP malware where inside the image. This is a good image. Absolutely, it's a good image. Absolutely, it's a good image. I'm going to send it to you, but injected. I'm going to send you an injected image that has a virus inside. So, I'm going to open this one, double click, it opens. Double click, it opens, very fine. That's great. How much is the size? It's 330 kilograms. Sorry, kilobytes, I'm sorry. I'm going to make you change the, the view, the view, the view. I'm going to change it to details. Yes, here it is. So, the BG image, the BG image has a size 331 kilobytes. Okay, we are going to inject this malware inside of this image. To do so, to do so, to do so, I'm going to copy the path where this uh, image is, shift keyboard, right click on the mouse, and I choose this one. Copy as path, copy as path, copy as path. Plus. Now I'm gonna open the command prompt, CMD. From here, from here, I'm gonna move to the path I copied. CD, space, paste. 
he brought it to me. I'm gonna delete the, the file name, the, the image name, and I leave, leave the rest. Enter. Nothing happened. Why? Because I am in, I'm asking him to move to the C while I am inside the H. So I'm gonna type C colon to move to the C. I type C colon. Enter. Happened. Everything has been changed. The entry is inside the steganography. I'm going to check what is there as content. DIR. Enter. The image is here. The malware is here. And those are my generated data. They are available. That's good. So let's dig in and let's do the injection. Let's, let's do our steganography scenario. We are going to hide the malware inside the image and generate a new image, a new infected image. Uh, it's a simple copy command. It's a simple copy command. Copy, space. Copy what? Copy uh, the malware. Yes, absolutely. But the syntax here, we're going to copy into, copy into the image name, this name here, I'm going to type it the same, copy back the name, the image name, the same name. After that, plus, plus here, plus, plus what? Plus the malware name, malware, not PHP, the same name, the same name, the same name here. The same name, .php. After that, space, a new image name. The result, no? It's an image which is infected, that has the virus inside. I'm going to say, new, let's say, uh, new gift or new BG. New BG. New BG, okay. Extension. It has to be the same as the original image, the same extension. I'm going to write the same extension, dot j5, the same extension, same extension here, the same extension here, is the same. Press enter. Here I'm going to just press enter. I'm going to confirm. And look at here, we have only two files here. We have only two files. Confirm in here. One file copied. And here it is, the name we said, new BG. Here it is, new BG. It appeared. It appeared. That's great. I open it. The size is one kilobit, kilobyte. Open it. Nothing is there. Something is strange. This is actually the hacker BG. This is the original, the new BG. Double click. Not visible. Something cannot read. It's not clear. What's the problem? The problem is that the computer recognizes that we are copying this PHP inside the image. So this is not accepted. He did not finish the work. The computer did not finish the work for us. We are going to tell the computer, stop thinking. Just do the thing for us without asking. Exactly like that. We are going to ask the computer to do the same thing, but without looking we are injecting a PHP inside an image or not. Just do. The same command. I'm going to generate a new image. I'm going to change the name to make, the, to make it different. I'm going to say new BG2, for example. Use it defined. And the copy here, I'm going to make it to be blind. I'm going to make it to be make it to be blind. B. I added this forward slash b. Okay, confirm now. I given the name new bg2. We have three files now. The fourth will come. He said one file copied. And the new bg2 has appeared. New bg2 has appeared. How much is the size of the new bg2? 331 kilobytes. It's the same size as the original image. That's great. 
Let's open it. It opens very fine. It's an image. It's it's very fine. I'm gonna open the new BG. No, it has a problem. I'm gonna open the original image. It opens very fine. Okay, that's great. So now we generated a new image that looks fine. It looks fine, but it's not fine. But it has actually a malware inside. This one has a malware inside. This one is a safe and original uh, image. Does not have any malware inside. To do so, to check that, to check that, I'm going to open the image or the two images using the Notepad. I'm going to open the original image. Open with. I'm going to choose to open it using the Notepad. Here is the Notepad. Okay. Metadata, we explained that. Actually, we can, as humans, we cannot get, have any understanding to what is this. It's just the data that the computer understands. Okay, what's the problem here? There is no problem, but we have to check what the, this malware has. Did it, is it available inside here, inside of this, uh, this hacker BG? Control F, what was the command? Trace RT space, whatever, I want to change this. nothing. Cannot find trace RT. He's saying nothing, it's not there. It's not there. Yes, because we did not inject it here. We did not inject it here. We injected it here in this new BG2. Let's open this new BG2 in a notepad. Okay. Great. I'm going to say trace RT. I'm going to search for the trace RT the same. Trace. The spelling here it is is the full program the full script we add from here all of the command is there it's injected inside the image which image new bg2 new bg2 New BG, we succeeded in doing that. We succeeded in injecting a malware, a malware inside an image. While the image actually, when I open it, it looks very fine. It looks very fine. It's a, no, a normal image. It's not having any trouble. But when, when we open it using the notepad, We can find the malware is there. Any questions, please? Here, great, great, and then great. What I'm going to do now, what I'm going to do now, actually, I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to copy this image and hide it inside uh, an Excel file. I'm going to copy this image and hide it inside an Excel file. Excel is the Excel. I'm going to generate a new Excel document. Yes, here it is. I'm going to save it. See you later. I'm going to save it uh, inside the same document, Steganography, here at the same place. I'm going to say, Grades here. Grades. The name is Grades. Okay, and it's empty. Grades, but it's empty. I'm going to close it. Here it is. It has been coming here. It is here. I'm going to inject this image. I'm going to inject this image into this Grades. This Grades, when I click it, it opens very fine. It opens. When I click it, it opens very fine. I'm going to type anything. Murat. U O N. Oman. Okay, whatever. Save. I saved. I close. I open again. It opens, and this is the data. The same data is available. Great. Let's inject this new BG image into this Excel file. 
let's inject this new BG2, the infected image, the infected image, and do this Excel file. Great. Let's come back to our command prompt. DIR again to check what's there. DIR. We have all the data. The great XLS. This is the Excel file. The hacker BG, the hacker BG, the original image, the malware, the, the original PHP file. In addition to the created two hacked images, the first one is 400 bytes. It's less than one kilogram. It, it does not work. The second one is 331 kilobytes. We are going to inject this new BG2 inside this great 6 LS. To do so, the same copy. As blind, Yak was actually while making the computer, does not look to what we are doing. Simply, we just make him copy. So, into what? Into this B, sorry, into this great 6 LS. Grades dot XLSX. Plus, it's dot you, it's dot, dot XLSX plus the name of the image, new BG2, with respect to the same spelling, new BG2 dot J5. Wait, space, I'm going to generate a new infected file, which is from this same type. I'm going to say new grades here, I mean this sounds. And those grades, we are going to give them an extension that has to look like the same extension of the first file, not the second file, the first XLS X. XLS X. XLS X. But let's confirm that. Look at here. We have only one, one Excel file. Enter. We said one file copied. And then the new. Grades file has been generated. This is it, the new XXL file. Double click it. It detects the error here. It is not the same scenario. I intentionally show you. I intentionally show you the Excel how to inject in. And this is one of the key measurements. The Excel detects that has been actually happening an injection. And he can detect that. I'm gonna let him try to fix this. I'm gonna say yes. He was able to, to successfully delete the file from the, the malware. I'm gonna save. No, he's asking me to save it in a different name. I'm gonna save him here in the same. Open it now. It opens very fine. It opens very fine. It means the malware has been omitted. But the image, no. The image, no. It's still, the image is still infected. The image is still infected. Let me just come back. Image 2, new BG2. Double click it. Still, it's open. And it is still infected. Right click. Open new, uh, open with not bad and search for the place rt here it is it's available still the malware is available inside the image inside this is it this is it the new bg2 the image um, this is a great this is a great actually i'd like to give you the chance to practice and to ask me if you have any questions let me come back first of all to the guide if there, if there is any other uh, requests do this guide Yeah, great, great. Let me just find the path inside. We are going to deal with the uh, forward.com to inject it there. We are going to deal with it forward.com to inject it there. Let me bring back the, uh, the... Okay. 
are going to inject, we are going to inject this PHP, this infected file, what we have here, we are going to inject it inside this favabay.com. So what we have an infected image, an image that has a, a malware. Yes, this new BG is an image, yes, image, but it has a malware inside. We are going to inject this new BG too, inside what? Inside the fubabay.com. Let's do that. So I'm going to open the fubabay.com slash lecturing. I'm opening the fubabay.com, not bad. Slash lecturing. fubabay.com slash lecturing. We get this one. I'm going to browse, search for that image in documents, seganography, new BG2, double click, and I'm going to upload it. UBG2, remember, it has been uploaded. I want to test it. Here it is. It works very fine. What? It works very fine. The infected image, I'm able to share it with a server. I'm able to share an infected image with a server, which is catastrophic, which is really catastrophic. This is really catastrophic. This is a problematic view. We are able to inject an infected image with a server, web server. This is really a problematic view. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. But for you, for you, actually, I don't. I, I will not uh, ask you to download the same image. No. You download different images. See, this is the first image, but you can swap to the previous image, previous image, previous image, and so on. There are seven or eight previous images. Images. Anybody of you, any one of you, down, uh, hacks and downloads a different background. I do not have to see the same image. The same image, I use it to explain it to you. But for you, you download or you hack a different image, please. I'm going to stop the recorder and send you this uh, video. Meanwhile, uh, if you have any questions, otherwise you share your work with me. Now, immediately.